Welcome back guys to another video and today is a reaction to a video. Now guys, um um today we will be reacting to it what would happen if the earth lost oxygen for 30 seconds. Now guys, we do need that or else you know we would probably die, but so Please subscribe and comment as well, and let's do, let's get into this, like, right off the bat. Let's do this. What would happen if the world lost oxygen for 30 seconds? You might not know this, but researchers have discovered that oxygen is slowly draining out of the Earth's atmosphere right now. What? And it is a big mystery as to why. Scientists analyzing ice cores from Antarctica and Greenland found that oxygen levels have dropped 0.7% in the last 800,000 years. So the Earth That's is so... losing oxygen slowly. Well, guys, think about this. Well, the last 800,000 years, guys, that's a very slow rate at time if, you know, you're losing something. But oxygen is, lo like, is, is leaking out of the earth. Hopefully, you know, guys, obviously, 8,000 years, guys, you won't be able to last that long. It's, I mean, it's, I don't think it's ever going to run out, so let's just like, get back. But surely, no, that's not life-threatening for now. But what would happen if oxygen suddenly vanished? No oxygen in the air, the water, and suddenly no oxygen in any living thing for 30 seconds. 30 seconds is a long time depending on the situation. Many people don't understand how long 30 seconds really is and take this tiny bit of oh time God. for granted. But hold your breath for 30 seconds and you get the idea. But this isn't about holding your breath. In our thought experiment, all oxygen molecules have vanished as if it vaporized into nothing instantly. What would be the consequences and what would happen to humans, plants, trees, animals, and the earth itself? Oh, also, guys, make sure to subscribe Earth's to this channel, too. It's more it's than really just the awesome. air we breathe. It also creates atmospheric pressure, to which every living thing is under. The total mass of Earth's atmosphere is about 5.8 quadrillion tons. The total mass of oxygen in the atmosphere is about 1.2 million billion metric tons. Wow. The air we breathe is 78% nitrogen, about 20% oxygen, 1% argon, and some trace amounts of other gases. In fact, you're breathing in more nitrogen than oxygen. However, the what? most prevalent element in our bodies is oxygen. It makes up 65% of the human body, along with water. And oxygen is responsible for 90% of the body's energy. Without oxygen, life as we know it simply cannot survive. And now, imagine taking it away in an instant. The average human uses about 555 liters of oxygen per day. Losing all the oxygen from your body in an instant would cause some very serious and unwanted side effects. On average, humans inhale and exhale around 15 times a minute in order to get wow. enough oxygen to stay alive. This isn't the same as holding your breath, where you would still have a supply of oxygen in your body for three to five minutes. Wow. In this scenario, your body would have zero oxygen. Imagine this, guys. I can't believe that somebody could hold their breath for three to five minutes. I mean, that is crazy. How is that even possible? Wow, wow, that's crazy. Your cells would likely die instantly, having lost the ability to decrease their osmolarity, so the balance of water is altered. Oxygen is required to turn sugar into energy. Without it, living cells quickly run out of energy and die. However, it is more likely that every cell would swell and burst. While all this was happening, the skin of every human would probably turn blue and purple. Oh Your hands and feet would start tingling. Then would come confusion, disorientation, and hallucinations. Not a pretty end at all. 
not to mention what the loss of oxygen in the atmosphere can do. With 20% of the Earth's atmosphere suddenly missing, most living creatures would immediately experience immediate decompression sickness, in which nitrogen dissolved in the blood and tissues forms bubbles as the pressure decreases. This sometimes happens to scuba divers and causes chest pains, difficulty breathing, and loss of consciousness. With a 21% instant loss of air pressure, everyone's inner ear would painfully explode. It would be oh, the same geez. as jumping from sea level down 2,000 meters almost instantly. Most animals on the planet would likely suffer the same problems that humans would experience. Fish in the oceans would likely die within seconds without any oxygen. And if the what? oceans were turning into hydrogen gas without oxygen, they wouldn't be able to breathe anyway. In the end, every living thing containing water would burst almost instantly. Without oxygen, fires cannot burn. That means anything that has to do with combustion will suddenly stop working. Cars would stop running. Airplanes would lose their engines. Anything that uses internal combustion would stop working without oxygen. This would create a chain of events that would likely wipe out everything. All at once, 434 nuclear power plants all over the world have lost their cooling water, with the possibility of many of them simply melting down in the 30 seconds without any oxygen molecules mm. anywhere in the system. Another interesting thing that would happen without oxygen molecules in the atmosphere would be that any untreated pieces of bare metal lying around on the Earth would fuse together as if they were heat welded. This is a known process called cold welding. In the vacuum of space, you can touch two pieces of metal together and they will bond together as if welded. It is likely That's the cool. same thing would now happen here. The Earth's ocean would instantly start to disappear, turning into hydrogen gas and rushing upwards towards space from the sudden atmospheric change. Hydrogen is flammable, oh but oxygen is not. But even if you separate the two, hydrogen cannot burn without oxygen. So what you have left over are vast clouds of hydrogen gas in the atmosphere as the oceans and seas all evaporated at once. Water is 89% oxygen by weight and is one oxygen atom combined with two hydrogen atoms, which equal H2O. As oxygen disappears from the ocean's water, the hydrogen component becomes an unbound free gas. Hydrogen gas, being the lightest, will rise to the upper troposphere and slowly wow. bleed into space. In short, the oceans would start to evaporate into the atmosphere. With oxygen missing from the Earth's atmosphere, the sky would lose its blue color and change into a darker color. The sky is blue because sunlight reflects off large atoms of oxygen and nitrogen in the atmosphere. If you remove the oxygen from the atmosphere, the sky would be black instead of blue you would be able to see bright stars in the sky during the day. The very ground we walk on is comprised of 46.1% oxygen. Oh the God Earth's geez. crust has a large amount of oxygen in its volume, along with the silicon, aluminum, iron, and other materials. It is possible that the Earth's oh. crust would crumble apart if oxygen was suddenly taken out, which would create great continent shifts and earthquakes. It is even thought that anything built with concrete might also collapse if you wow. remove all oxygen molecules. So imagine every concrete structure in the world suddenly crumbling to the ground, along with the fact that the ground below holds nearly 50% oxygen by volume and is also crumbling away. The ozone layer that protects us has three oxygen atoms. Remove the oxygen from the pale blue gas, and now, suddenly the Earth starts to become bombarded with ultraviolet radiation. Anything outside in the direct sunlight would be burned or roasted alive. What? Plants would suddenly begin to wilt and die, unable to process. Yes, it's true that plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen, but plant cells still need oxygen to survive. With all these scary things we mentioned, it might be a good time to tell you that there isn't any chance that the Earth will suddenly lose all of its oxygen. 
everything is okay. I'm glad. There's more <laughs> oxygen in the air than the Earth needs at the present time. And even in the worst case scenario, we would never run out of oxygen as humans, plants, the oceans, and the Earth itself are constantly recycling oxygen. But now you know just how important oxygen is for the survival of just about everything on the planet. We hope you enjoyed this video. Did we miss anything? What do you think would happen? Let us know by giving us a like and a comment. Make sure you don't miss a new release and click the subscribe button and get notified when we release a new video. Wow, guys, that was so amazing. I'm, like, blown that if the air just got taken away for 30 seconds, that much stuff would happen. That's a chain of events. Like, everything in the direct sunlight would be burnt to crisp or burnt alive, whichever so wow just think about that for a minute and you're like your brain like explodes of like whoa that was crazy so guys that's the end of the video please subscribe and comment and bye